two cops who were actually on the roof. They're first on the scene, but they don't turn on their body cams. They don't radio in when they arrive. Why? Any luck tracking down the female police lead? We need to find her. We cannot risk exposing her. Farrah Mahoney took the boy to Portman Tower, where she and PC Matthews died. Gemma, I was so shocked. I, I saw the character that you play, Detective Collins, in the tower. She's she's dour, she's sensible, she's gritty, she's no nonsense. And then I read afterwards that you're a renowned comedian and dancer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I suppose I came from a comedy background, a dance and comedy background, and um by a certain avenues I've managed to find myself uh, in serious gritty dramas which is great nice to have a variety well it shows how it shows your versatility so well done yeah. well, very well done thank you now detective collins is part of a new breed of of uh, female law enforcement exec bosses executives uh, you know but they have so much still to overcome as we see in the series there's sexism there's um uh, you know constant baiting by maybe jealous uh, male colleague, shall we say. How does she cope with this? We, I see her as uh, sensible and, and she keeps her mouth closed and she doesn't get angry, but how does she deal with her inside? I think she does manage to have the last word with, with certain people she comes across, particularly um, Bailey in the last scene of episode three. She certainly she certainly have, has the last word there with him and she has some comebacks. But I think she's so married to her job and so clear about, you know, getting a result from her job that she's sort of, it's water off a duck's back to her, these foolish men with their foolish ideas. She, I think she feels like she's better than that, better than engaging with that. She doesn't need to. She knows her truth and she's there to do her job. And if she can get sort of the last word or a, a, a retort in at any point, she will. But that's not her priority. Her priority is solving the case. There could be a part of her that's sort of a bit switched off and a bit dedicated to um, justice and sort of her clarity and her sort of A to B on that is maybe stronger than her need to address these men in a gaslighting way. Because You're right. She, she rises above it. Yeah. yeah, she rises above it. Um, and she's fearless. She's, yeah. She doesn't fear retaliation. I admire her so much. Well, she, well, um, she can hold her own, can't she? She can certainly hold her own. And she knows that she's very good at her job, which I think is great, a great role model for people to see that, like, you know, women should know their job and should know, you know, that they're good at it. And that's not something that you should apologize for. Do you ever wonder why you're still at the S, Sarah? Because I can't tell jokes to blokes in bars. The other burdens that uh, Detective Collins is carrying, and that's she's mourning a breakup, a significant <laughs> breakup. You yeah. know, and that combined with the horrors of the crimes that don't seem to get to her and facing all this misogyny at work. Wow, that is such a huge burden um, yeah. altogether. And to do it, to have it all the time, you know, how do you get into that headspace? I don't know, really. I suppose there was a lot of detectives who were supporting artists on set um, who I spoke to at length about what they'd been through. And, and their, so it was quite... It's quite good to speak to them about, you know, the death calls they had to make when they have to knock on and tell a relative that, you know, a relative has died about certain things that they'd seen. You know, if I had a good chat with one of them at the beginning of the day, it would really sort of add some gravity to the work. So I would try and those conversations with people as and when I needed to. And I think, you know, Jim Loach, the director, took a, took a long time to talk about what we were trying to achieve in this scene and who, who was where and where we were all at. Um, but I think also, Sarah, she doesn't, take it on too much. I think one thing that I did learn about from these detectives is, and I think we all know, is that they get very hardened to their job and what they see and the people they come across. And um, initially when you have to make a death call, it's completely tragic. And then once you've done the tenth one, it's just part of the job. Right. Um, so there's yeah. a certain, she's been doing the job for a very long time. So she's pretty hardened to the work, but obviously the, what happens at the tower is, you know, an extraordinary event that she's not, obviously used to see and that's not an everyday event well that answers my question i was wondering if working on a on a series about police corruption tainted your view of police so it's an interesting question yeah i think i've been asked this a few times you know particularly over here you know the police are you know under scrutiny at the moment you may know and i feel yeah. like you know i feel like 
99.9% of the police are doing their very best and want to do the job as well as they can. And um, I have a great deal of respect for them still. And I'm very grateful to see them out and about. A friend of mine, she has a son, a, a little toddler, and she came across some police officers and she said to the little son, oh, careful, the police are coming now. And the police officer actually came over to her and she said, listen, can you not talk about us to your children like that? Because we wow. are here to help. And we would love it if you could advocate for us and say, not say those things, because then he will be fearful of us, that, that, that we are there to attack him or to arrest him. And actually we're here to support him and make, keep everyone safe. So it would be really great if we could change the, change the conversation about police to like, oh, look, the police are here. Isn't that a great job? Rather than someone to, some, you know, people to fear. Right. I thought it was really great of the police to do that. And she took it on and she said, you're absolutely right. I hadn't thought of it that way. So it's it's changing the narrative isn't it and sort of finding finding a way to make our children understand that they are largely there to help and you know we're very lucky to have them but there are some bad apples as there are in every walk of life but um well you know, yes the bad apples make the good stories yeah. well shows like this uh, you know they're important on so many levels it shows that women can succeed that there are good police mm -hmm. and uh, there's so much to learn from it um yeah. I had the great pleasure of speaking with Jimmy Akimbola for Kate oh, and man. Oh my God, is he as fun <laughs> on set as I think he is? He's just the most brilliant, beautiful, funny, intelligent, kind man you could hope to hang out with. Apart from my husband, obviously. <laughs> 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 but he's just so, what you see is what you get. He's so grounded. He's so easy to be around. He's so... And he's so, you know, he's got a twinkle. He's so, you know, there's always yeah, a joke that we had and he's very easy to make laugh, which is really fun to be around. You know, we, we always had a laugh and we both come from comedy backgrounds. So we really bonded over like, you know, the journey we'd had through comedy and, the, you know, our mutual acquaintances and people we'd you know worked with. So yeah, he was great fun. And we sort of instantly got on, we had instant chemistry and, and um, yeah, I really hope to work with him again. Very cool. Gemma, what a pleasure to speak to you. I really, really appreciate it. And oh, I really like this series. Me. And thank hopefully so much, season man. two. Oh, let's keep our fingers crossed. I hope so too. Here's to it. And I hope everyone loves it We're over there. We will. Thanks, thank man. you. All the best. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Detective Sergeant Sarah Collins, Director of Special Investigations. What happened? One of my officers is dead, the other one just saved this child's life. She was up there. She saw the two cops who were actually on the roof. They're first on the scene, but they don't turn on their body cams. They don't radio in when they arrive. Why? Is any luck tracking down the female PC? We need to find her. We cannot risk exposing her. Farah Mahoney took the boy to Portland Tower, where she and PC Matthews died. Records are due to the whole team. I heard he pulled a gun on you. She's a police officer. She's absent without leave. Said you wanted to talk to me before I hang myself in. Please don't turn my back. She nearly killed my son. Stay away from her. Do you ever wonder why you're still at the S, Sarah? Because I can't tell jokes to blokes in bars.